Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec James, my cookies, back with another video. So, sorry this video is like very late. Um, I had been doing online school and I'm not vibing with it. It's kicking my butt a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. And I just wanted to make this video so that, because I made an opinion in my unpopular opinions video that was like two, three weeks ago maybe, maybe a month ago, I don't remember. Um, and I said that Red Velvet was the best uh, big three girl group. And I just wanted to, like, expand on that a little bit because that's kind of controversial, especially since Red Velvet's usually never named the best of the three. It's usually either Twice or Blackpink. So I decided, you know, I'd defend my girls and make this video. And if you disagree with me, sorry, you're wrong, I'm right. Uh, that's it. That's the video. <laughs> so this one's going to be a little, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe sentimental in a way. Um, if you guys have never seen, if you're new k-pop fan maybe a new red velvet fan and you've never seen one of these nights you've never listened to it um the music video is dedicated to the Sewol fairy tragedy if you guys don't know what that is i'll give you a brief um uh, summary of the incident it was um a fairy of i think maybe 300 400 kids and uh it sunk and almost all of them died i think there were maybe 50 survivors and the entire incident was just really bad. The Korean government kind of handled it very, very poorly. And um, this entire music video is supposed to be dedicated to the survivors and to the incident. And I just think, like, that's very amazing as a, you know, third gen group that they did that. You know what I mean? That they did that. And because it's kind of a controversial thing because it was against the government, honestly. Everybody was very against the government when that happened. And I think it was just very bold of Red Velvet to do that. You know what I mean? Because they dedicated it to the survivors and everything. And I think that was just very bold. And I'm very happy they did that. Also, uh, One of These Nights is a good song. So listen to it. My uh, next thing with why they're the best girl group is that um, they do don't stick to one concept like blackpink only ever does girl crush well that it was if they released music um if they release music it's gonna be girl crush <laughs> um and twice you know they just recently moved over into i don't know what they're doing um but i don't know what you would call it like fancy crush um formal crush whatever twice is doing but they were cutesy for the longest time and then they made this like gradual change but red velvet just does it like boom like one concept we're gonna be cute like the next time we come back we're bad boy it's gonna be bad boy and the fact that they can just go like from cute to girl crush cute to girl crush is just so phenomenal in my opinion because it's like a lot of time um like twice the girls are a little have like I guess cutesy faces in a way that's like they don't really fit girl crush I can't imagine like Young. well I can imagine Young. I can't imagine Sana doing girl crush and I can't imagine Jenny doing like cutesy twice songs you know what I mean but with Red Velvet they can do both very well and you know they are so talented in that way that they can just switch not their personalities but the way they act on stage from being girl crush to cutesy and i think that makes them very good performers i know everyone says oh you know red velvet has no stage presence have you watched any of their stages especially their recent stages i mean like psycho when wendy was still well i'm still pissed about that don't even get me started <laughs> oompa oompa like they are so good they're such good performers Honestly, I hate watching fan cams. I'm going to be honest. I really can't stand watching fan cams. I get bored. Um, but I do watch occasionally Red Velvet fan cams. You know what I mean? And it's just the fact that they are so talented, such talented performers, if I get my grammar right. And I don't know. I don't get it how people say that they're not talented performers. I get it. They mess up. You know, Yeri messed up the choreo. Like, it's... I guess a big deal for some people because they hate Yeri and they hate women. Um, they just want to hate Yeri for no reason, even though she is like a perfect angel baby. Uh, moving on from that, I just I don't get how people think they don't have stage presence because they very obviously have stage presence. Um, my next thing with Red Velvet is they actually have an, an appropriate amount of comebacks. 
And you might be like, oh, why is that like a point? You know, that's more their company. And I get it's more their company. The SM is not stupid. Um, I love JYP. Like, I love most of the groups in JYP. But TWICE doesn't usually get a break. You know what I mean? Like, they had comebacks every two months or so. And the girls never got a break. Versus Blackpink, who... um, It's been a year since their last comeback. And YG's trying to play it off as, we were gonna have one, but, like, Corona. If you were gonna have one, you would have had it in 2019. Where's Rosé's solo? Where's Lisa's solo? Where's Jisoo's solo? Moving on, I'm gonna get too angry. Um, you know, they have the perfect amount of comebacks. They had, um, I believe three last year. If I'm maybe forgetting one, I feel like I'm forgetting one, but I don't think I am. You know, they had Zimzalabim. They had Oompa Oompa, and then they had Psycho. And, you know, I feel like that is a good number, because they had a couple months in between where they were doing stuff, and then they would come back. And they had a couple months, and then they would come back. You know what I mean? And it's just the right amount that the girls don't feel like they're being overworked. Or underworked, in uh, Blackpink's case. (laughs) Rip Blackpink. Uh, But they just... They have the right amount of comebacks. They're not leaving us hanging for over a year, but they're not, you know, they're not coming back so much that people are crying on stage, passing out on stage. Like, it's really, they're doing the right thing. SM, for once, you're doing the right thing. Congrats. Another thing I just briefly wanted to mention um, is that the girls are always active on social media, and the girls are allowed to do things outside of You know, just the comebacks. Unlike YG. Or TWICE. I mean, TWICE isn't really allowed to do much either. But they're always coming back, so I guess that's fine, I guess. Ooh, that nice chair creak. Um, But, like, you know, it's not just one member that gets to do stuff. You know, the other girls, everyone thinks that maybe Silgi and Irene are going to have something going on. And I think Joy might be in a um, K-drama right now. I'm not completely sure. I know Yeri has a makeup line coming out, or I think it's a lipstick line that she's currently promoting. And um, the fact that their least popular member, aka Yeri, is still getting stuff to do, YG could never, you know, rip Rosé. Rosé doesn't have anything to do. But the fact that all of the members are doing something right now, I mean, maybe not including Wendy. I'm still mad. Uh, The fact that they all have something to do and they're not all just doing nothing is amazing to me. They give equal opportunity to all of their members, all of them are doing stuff, and even my bias, Yeri, gets to do something. Unlike my bias in YG, in YG, in Blackpink, uh, Rosé, who is doing nothing, and, you know, yeah. And I just wanted to preface that I know a lot of this is from the company standpoint, like, a lot of the opinions that I've had in this entire video is from the company. Uh, it's like, the, it's the company's fault that, you know, Twice has too many comebacks and that Blackpink is never allowed to see the light of day and that Rosé isn't allowed to do anything and that Twice is only ever coming back and they're not allowed to do anything on their own, that kind of thing. I get that that's the company's fault, but, you know, you have to include the company in the group. There would be no group without the company. So that's why I think Red Velvet is the best group is because, for once, SM is doing their job. Uh, I hate SM. I really, I don't like that company. But for once, their group is doing the best, you know? They're doing the best with their group, and I appreciate that. So, yeah. I just want to say thank you for 200 subscribers. That's real chill. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this very rushed rant of mine. Um... So yeah, it's really just SM doing good for once. For once. Um, (laughs) I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing well during coronacation. Um, I hope you guys aren't too bored. If you you are bored, you can always watch my videos. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, Yeah, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, love you.